in the super middleweight division. That's 168 pound weight limit. Kazinian, 24 years old, he's six foot one with a 72 inch reach. As for Roman, coming out of Culiacan, Mexico, much older, 15 years older. In fact, he's 39 and will enjoy a two inch reach advantage. Roman's been in there with champions and former champions, contenders, prospects, so he's going to be able to take a shot. A jab again from Bazo. Oh, nice left. You don't want to give him any kind of confidence. Don't let him start landing anything. And Sergio Watch Steve mentioned that he thought Roman was trying to get out of this fight. Oh, what a right hand, my goodness! Like a shotgun blast! It was a lazy jab by Sao Roman. Bazignan took full advantage of it with a counter right hand. He wanted an explosive performance, and boy, did he deliver. Through it, Sergio. And it was just a lazy, he committed too much. Sao Roman committed too much behind that first jab, and then that second jab was timed by Bazignan just perfectly right on the jaw. Cantu takes a look at. Cantu takes a look at Saul Roman. The eyes weren't there. The way he fell down, actually, gave you the impression that he wasn't gonna get up. The referee stopped it immediately. So Jerry Cantu making the uh, disputed decision there. It looked like Saul Roman wanted to get up, but it was a little bit too late. Just beautiful right hand right there. You know, not so much the pictures of that knockout, but the sound of that knockout was what was impressive, or the most impressive in my book. It's always the sound, believe it or not. When you're this close to the ring, it's the sound that's the scary part. You know, viewers at home can't get the sound of body punches and headshots. But that was just the perfect time counter right hand by a lazy jab of Roman that landed cleanly against the veteran's jaw. He wanted to make the most of his appearance on worldwide television here on DAZN, and I think he did that. And that's how you do it. 24th win, 18th knockout for Eric Bazignan. Here is the tail of the tape. 140-pound weight limit, super lightweight, scheduled for 10 rounds. 26 years old. Feliciano, 28 for Acevedo. They are both 5'9", and it will be the Milwaukee native with a 2-inch reach advantage. Both of you. Right uppercut, left hook, very dangerous punch to throw. And that is certainly hindering Acevedo right now. Body shots are very similar. Step back from the right on the right on the Doing damage. Nice left hook. Feliciano with a two inch reach advantage, and it seems like that two inches is big hit. That right hand sends Acevedo down. Three. Shot right on the temple, and that's what under him. The knees buckle right away. Seven. Eight. Are you okay? Walk to me, Herbert. Hands up. You okay? Hands up, Herbert. Hands up. You okay? Box. Here we're going to see the knockdown, and it was an overhand right. Right there on top of the left side of the head in the temple area. That right there discombobulates anyone. Here's another look at the same punch. Feliciano, it was partially blocked by Acevedo. Or it would have done even more damage, but the legs went under him. Acevedo forced to go down. Here's another look, another angle. Right there, legs go right under you. And Acevedo, I think he went down on his own, but Acevedo came back at the end of the round. Max Zaluka scores at 189. Rudy Balagan, 99-90. And Zach Young has it 97-92. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated and still NABF super lightweight champion, Luis Deliciano. They are both in their early 20s. Valenzuela Jr. as early in the 20s you can get. Rocha, 22 years old, but it will be the young Mexican who is one inch taller and will enjoy a four inch reach advantage. Rocha facing adversity. He's still winging these big power shots. Is that what happens? And that's what happens when, when you're an aggressive puncher like Rocha coming forward. You're dealing with a fighter with, with big power in those hands. I believe it was. And Valenzuela Jr. letting it all go. He knows this may be his only shot. Round two. To Rocha back against the ropes. Tomlin struck him in his corner. 
to regroup after that second round, and he's certainly done that as he's backing Venezuela Jr. up again. Those body shots are hurting him. He's got his left arm down. Both of them have been there on the man. He's already felt your power from you. Right in front of you, get an angle. Left to right. A piece comes flying out of Valenzuela's mouth. And Sergio, I think he spit it out. I didn't see a shot. What does that tell you when a spider does that? That tells you, that tells you he's a Valenzuela's being able to hit back. That was a big body shot. Ten seconds to go. El Viejo showing his toughness. It is over. Valenzuela Jr. cannot answer the bell. As we show you some of the body shots that Rocha was landing, that may have been the determining factor. No, not may. It was, Todd. It was those body shots that did it. See right there, he wanted to hold on. And if you see, Rocha didn't even, he landed that on the elbow, but it was Valenzuela's own elbow that dug into his body. And I'm telling you, those hurt. Right. You felt that though. Okay. So through five full rounds, it was pretty competitive. The second round, a danger zone for Rocha. He survived that and certainly learned a lot tonight, which is very important for a 22-year-old. Valenzuela made a good showing of himself, showed that uh, his power was really, a really uh, a, a positive thing here it wasn't really that he he uh, he was able to show that power with Rocha. So Rocha will improve to 15 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Retires on the stool, declaring your winner by KO. He is still undefeated and still WBC Continental America's welterweight champion from Santana, California, Alexis Rocha. Tonight, he'd been incarcerated for 11 years, has come out, has found his form, and coming off the biggest win of his career, an upset of highly touted middleweight prospect, Money Powell. There are the numbers. Von Alexander, slightly taller and slightly longer. All right, gentlemen, you received the instructions in the dressing room, know what to expect. Good play. The silver medal is so They're gonna move it back. Counter right there for Alexander. So it's the right opponent at the right time, and he's going to go some rounds with Alexander. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a good look all around. Let's see if Alexander starts to knock out kind of guy. That's not what he needs, though. Hold your head. Let's see how aggressive the enthusiasm is here in the final stage. Let's see how aggressive Degree 100 to 90. Your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated. And now the WBA Continental America Super Middleweight Champion, Beck the Bully Manacuzian. Well, they want to put him on the fast track. How fast would you send him towards the title shot? Pounds. It's five pounds when you're on the scale, but when you rehydrate, it can be as much as 25 pounds, especially when you have that lanky frame that Machado has. Both men with a 72-inch reach, 29 years old as well. Similar numbers. We'll see if they have similar skills coming up. Stop, stop, stop. Sergio wants to stop. Oh, there's a break that connects as well. Much. And you can see yeah, Machado trying to hold on here. Stop, 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 stop. Machado with the overhand right, right, right there. Machado holding on. Machado, you know, you got to oh, line oh, left. Oh, and Barroso oh, is oh, swinging oh, for the fences, as he should. So the only thing that concerned him about Machado down. was that body shot. It sent him down. That is a knockdown. A body Five. shot from Machado. Six, seven, eight. All right. I believe it was a left oh, hand to the body. Left hook to the body and uh, Machado landed right there. Have to see a replay. I don't think anyone in the arena saw it. But Barroso certainly felt it. And now Machado, El Explosivo, goes to the body again and drops Barroso again. And with the same exact punch, the left hook to the liver right there. Barroso's not going to recover. Liver seven. shots, he don't recover from those shots. Machado okay? should drop him again at the end continue? of this round. Right. 30 yourself. seconds left. It's survival mode now for Barroso. Let's see if Machado can finish. Also trying to protect the body. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop that head. Ten seconds left. Rosa looking up at the clock. He wants this round to be over. He's been dropped twice. 
Just missed with that body shot again. They're out of there. I'm telling you, Todd, the body shots have a great memory. There's no way Perozo recovers from these body shots. None. Springs Casino. Not only that, he erases it. You're going to see the punch that no one really saw, and that's why it was a sneaky little body shot and a late reaction by Barroso, and that's the reason it took everyone here by surprise. It was a bad angle that you couldn't really see that punch, but it was effective. But the second knockdown was clean and visible. The exact same punch got Barroso opening up, and those punches hurt, especially when you're getting caught in between a punch. You're opened up. The third time was the charm. The third time was the charm because the body shot, the body has a great memory, Todd, and it's not gonna forget. But Chatter going back to the liver, there was no way Barroso was getting out of this round. He was too much in pain. And this is a great win by Machado in this very arena where he suffered back-to-back -back knockout losses to the body himself. It's our tale of the tape. Welterweight division scheduled for 12 rounds. Virgil Ortiz Jr. can barely legally drink. 21 years old, he's one inch shorter than Solomon who will also enjoy a two inch reach advantage. Idol contention himself. You look nice and handsome. Please stop. Ready? He usually has a busy jab, but so far he's been reacting. Nice right hand by Ortiz. Very grateful to get this opportunity now to make the most of it as Ortiz has a pinned in the corner. Oh, the activity and age. And he moved Ortiz around a little bit. It's that power jab to the belly that's, that's opening up the shot for Ortiz now. With those punches and keeping his hands up nicely. He hasn't been oh, he didn't roll well on that one. That was a power jab. A shotgun jab right there by Ortiz. And that's what he's been landing hard with right now. That's a power jab he landed there. A la Kovalev. The king. In his last fight, oh, another heavy handed shot from Ortiz. There's that pending right hand, and Solomon's in trouble. He might go down again. He does, taking the knee here in round five. It was that power jab that sliced the guard of Solomon to land that right hand. Turn around, son. Hey, you okay? Watch him, watch him. It's the look of resignation. On the face of Solomon, I think he knows what's coming. Expect body shots and uppercuts by Ortiz here. Solomon's got to show the referee something. He takes a knee again. That's the third knockdown. They'll wave it off. And one of boxing's hottest prospects keeps the fire burning. 15 wins, 15 knockouts by Virgil Ortiz Jr. Once again, he's perfect at Fantasy Springs. He's perfect in his career. Not much of a challenge at all here. Champion Virgil!